Yeah, yeah. Sixteen, I got locked in that cell and they ain't let me out Money, I'm talking, you know that I'm ballin', I'm hustlin', I ain't never seen a draw Spendin' this cash, but I cannot forget to make sure all my niggas on Spendin' this money, no question, do I think about it? I never say that I don't Walk off alone when I talk on the phone Droppin' the price and you know that they on Soon as we get it, you know that it's gone I swear that we been at this shit for so long Mama asked for something, I tell her no She tell me I ain't shit and neck like I'm wrong What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Mad God, and we out here at this park at River City, straight dropping buckets, man. Straight dropping buckets. We was at River City right now. We had a terrible start. We just could not get any type of buckets. But throughout the game, bro, we was just straight dropping buckets. But my dude is a shot creator playmaker. I don't know the, like the difference or whatever playmaker shot creator, but he's changed, bro. He's changed into a pure sharp shooter. Even though I have no type of shooting badges at all, man. No type of shooting badges at all. Cause this year, like the grind is just straight real. I don't like this like this year's bad system or whatever. Cause it's like you gotta grind for every type of like badge sequence or whatever. Like you gotta get bronze, you gotta get silver, you gotta get gold. It's just too much grinding now, man. It's just too much grinding. I I just hit like silver um ankle breaker just like last night and I literally been grinding for that badge forever. Like it just take it just takes too much time. I really think they should just like get rid of that whole type of system. You just grind for the like grind for the bronze and then you can upgrade it from like what badges you have and what badge you have for your character. But it's just it's just way too much grinding. But the fact that my dude is a pure sharpshooter with no type of shooting badges is just crazy, man. It's just crazy. I still gotta get my jump shot down. I don't be getting green lights at all, mid-range or not. Like I don't get no type of green lights, some mid-range, but I just I just had trouble like getting any type of jump shots down. Like the KD jump shot, I can get down a little bit. The Lonzo, I can get down a little bit. 49, I can get down. I just can't. I just can't never like get an excellent release when I'm playing in park or in pro am. Man, I just can't get any excellent releases. But when I'm like shooting around in my like on like the shooting court or I'm shooting around like one on one or something like that. I can just hit it perfectly, but you see I'm pulling up in the corner right there. I just took a terrible shot. But you see we already down 4 nothing. We already down 4 nothing. Oh, you see Quan getting his ankles broken. And this year, like the ankle breakers, I haven't really seen an ankle breaker at all. I haven't seen an ankle breaker at all. I think it's just because no one really has the ankle breaker badge. I've I seen a couple people with gold or Hall of Fame. But like I said, like the grind, like the grind system is just way too much. It's just way too much grinding for every single one. But I do have... I think I have Dimer, Pick and Roll Maestro, and uh, Ankle Breaker. As of right now, I haven't been grinding to get any type of shooting badge, but when I get that shooting badge, I'm going to just be a straight god, pure shooter, playmaker, shot creator, whatever. I don't know. I should have made a, a three-point um, a three point specialist or whatever. I should have made like a playmaking sharpshooter because shot creating, it just throws me off because I got to do every single lean and shot every single time. I don't want to do that. I just want to just spot up. Catch the ball, shoot. I haven't been grinding for catch and shoot this year at all. Um, last year I did have I have catch and shoot. I had like every single badge in the game that I really needed because it the grind the grind wasn't even real for real. But you see I'm I'm grabbing the rebound right there. You see the six six god right there, putting up right there in his face, getting at the go. No green light, man. But you already know what I'm saying no green light. But it's still it's still going going, man. It's still going going. This year the dribbling is kind of different. I do be having trouble trying to dribble like any type of way. I don't know how all those other dribble guys be dribbling, but without the step back, it's like it makes it way harder. Like I can't really do any type of like sauce god moves, but I still got the sauce, man. I still got the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Sauce god, but it is kind of hard for me to dribble in the park. I got to like do momentums and all that. I, I can still speed boost or whatever, but it's a little different from last year. But I, I won't be grinding at all to try to get like 90, 99 overall. Like that's just that's just too much. I'll just be grinding to try to produce videos and whatever and just do what all I can. But you see I'm pulling up right here. No green light, but it's still going in. You know what I'm saying? It's, it just be on the line every time I shoot. Every time I shoot like from mid-range three, half court, ain't none of them going to be green. But this year is going to be probably the most important year of YouTube. 
trying to just get back on the grind, trying to get collab videos. I might do some reaction videos because people be like just straight blowing up all those. I guess a lot of people like reaction videos. I might try some of those, but me as a person, like me doing reactions by myself, it just won't be interesting. It just won't be interesting at all. But you see, get my dunk right there. I don't even usually dunk the ball. But me as reacting to like videos like that, it just won't be interesting. So I might be trying like do it with my friends or whatever reaction videos. But as of right now, the channel is just straight dead. Trying to get back on the grind. I don't know what's going on. People just don't like really watching 2K videos as much this year. I don't know why. But it just like 2K is just 2K is dead this year. Especially YouTubers and I was saying like 2K is just straight trash. People shouldn't get it and all that. It's like the 2K community is going dead. I think it, it might, the 2K might, community might be going dead like 2K20 or whatever. 2K19, I don't know, man. But I'll be trying to switch over to something else, something different. Try to like switch things up. But I don't be getting any comments for me to even know what I should do, man. Like I be getting like 15 comments a video. I don't, I don't get any comments. For y'all loyal fans, all y'all be saying, like, I, I join parts all the time. Dudes be saying, big fans, big fans. Like, I never seen your name in my comment section. I never seen you saying you like the video. I never seen you follow me on Twitter. None of that, man. All my social media right there. I never seen, but I never seen all, any of y'all right there. If you see Sauce God, the Sauce God getting ripped right there. I try, I try to sauce him up, man. I try to sauce him up, especially that Stephen Curry uh, hop step is back in the game. I be dropping a video on that soon about the hop step cheese. It's just straight golly, straight golly. It's just like the same as last year, 2K17. And I think I did use it 2K16, but not as much, though. I think I didn't really know how to do it. But 2K16, the, the way the dribbling was, I think it'll probably been a straight kill move every single time. But you see Quan getting the bucket right there, closing out the game. But like, share, subscribe, comment. Hope you like the video.